So I finally jumped. I don't know what you think of my portrait so far. Uh, it is uh, made with charcoal on the canvas and then the painting will come, of course, the paint, I mean. I finally did it. Um, I had a lot of difficulties to start. Uh, why? Because I was scared not to manage to do what I wanted to do. I, and today, I don't know, I couldn't wait anymore. I had to start. I thought, okay, if it's not good, it's not good. And, 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 and that's it. I mean, I, I, I can only do the best that I can. That's the only thing I can do. So um, I'm rather proud of what I've made so far. Uh, and it's strange because I, I suffered. I suffered because, you know, portrait for me, it's the most difficult because I really want to show uh, what is in the soul, in, in the mind of, of the person. It must express exactly what I see when I look at the, the person. It's difficult to keep the right proportions. Uh, that's the main thing. So I, I took a few measurements and I, I had to make a little calculus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm very happy of what I did because what I did is exactly what I see. Um, the position is maybe not exactly the same. I will show you. So you see on the photo that I have, um, he has maybe the face slightly more up. I mean, uh, uh, turned towards the top, uh, very slightly, not a lot. And on my portrait, he he's more straight, um, but. Well, it's not finished because it's just the draft made with the charcoal. I mean, uh, then I will have to do the painting, the, the, the paint part. Um, and then I must play with the colors and the shadows and the lights. And it's uh, actually the, the paint part is almost more difficult than this. Because this you must just concentrate on the, on the drawing. Uh, but during the paint part, you have not only to concentrate on the drawing, but also on the colors and on the shadows and on the lights. I started a few shadows, as you can see here, there, here, here. So it gives me already an indication of where the shadow must be. And as you can see, I, I kept a space here, here, that, this space, and on the top because I want a title and here I will probably have some dice or maybe one die, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, probably three dice because uh, the dice seem uh, more appropriate for me. It's more fun, I think, <laughs> than just one. So far, I'm very happy. Uh, if you want to look closer, you know, I really see him when I look at that. So I, I did my best. I did as good as I could. Um, but I'm rather proud of myself because I see him. I see his smile. It's exactly what I wanted. And I can tell you that it was pretty hard to draw today. Uh, I have so much work to do for my business. It's very difficult to concentrate on painting while I'm working in the same time. You are maybe wondering why I paint in my shop. It's because of the light. The light is really excellent in my shop and it's impossible in my house. I, I see nothing. So now I paint in my shop and I do my homework, my business work in my house at night. I, I'm not sure it's the best organization, but it's what I found the best for me now, for now. It's very, uh, a completely new experience for me because when I did other portraits of Jim Morrison or Keith Moon, the feeling is not the same at all. For example, for this portrait of Jim Morrison, which is not the best that I did, uh, but I wanted to do it in a slightly um, David Hockney spirit. Um, so it's more like a caricature than a true portrait. On the other hand here, 
Uh, what I did about Keith Moon, it was in two different um, positions while he was playing drums. Uh, here, it's much more a portrait for the both, you know. Uh, well, I have my style, I have my way of painting portraits, of course, maybe some academic people are going to say, no, that's not right. Whatever, you know, as long as I recognize him and that I have the same feeling as I, when I watch the, the person here playing drums, it's fine for me, it's exactly what I want. But, you know, when I was doing these, I never, uh, never had the same feeling as I had today with this. Uh, this, I was suffering and laughing in the same time, the whole time I was drawing. And I don't understand why. I didn't smoke pot, you know. <laughs> I don't need to, I'm naturally like that. But especially with him, I don't know, he makes me laugh all the time. I have a lot of admiration for him, but well. Here, this is a portrait of Jim Morrison that I painted as if he was Apollo. It was for an exhibition in the Netherlands. Um, it was about the order and chaos, so I was supposed to paint uh, Apollo and dinosaurs, and actually I used uh, Jim Morrison image to do that. Here it's Apollo, and here it's dinosaurs, you know? And both are him at two different stages of his life. And this is Kiss Moon. Uh, I made a portrait of him. Well, we can't really recognize him because he has sunglasses. And I took this image from a picture when he arrived um, to a party with a fake dog. You see the fake dog here? Uh, that was funny. I was wondering what I was going to talk about on, in my videos uh, as long as I was not doing that, but now uh, I, I have a lot to talk about. The problem is that I'm, I was like at a um, crossroad, you know. I knew that it was going to be hard, but I knew that I had to do it for I don't know what reason, but obviously it's important to me. I'm very happy of my day. Um, I will see you in my next video. I don't know if I will be able to show you more. Maybe I will have to keep some steps for myself and show you only when it's done. I don't know. Um, anyway, I see you next time. I've been listening to It's My Life, the album, while drawing. It helped me a lot. Uh, not only such a shame, I can't listen to such a shame the whole day. The whole album, it's my life. It's the first one that I ever listened to. Uh, no, it's not the first one that I ever listened to. It's not true because I listened to their first album first, but it's the first one that I bought in uh, 1984 or 85, I don't remember. 30 years later, I'm still there listening to that. Isn't it incredible?